Yeah, like bro. I don't know, it's stopped, but it's good. Anyway, yeah, so we have limited government. That means you have to follow the law like everybody else. And then individual rights, this is your bill of rights. That means you are given rights and privileges. Like the constitution book. Yeah, the, the book. You have the right to freedom of speech. You have the right to vote. Vote. No, that's a that's not a that's not a right. Well, that's something else. We have the right to send us elections. Yeah, you have the right to freedom. Of, there's ten, it's in your well, bill like, of rights. If well, they were to sign you to go, like, you know how, like, the immigrants and everything, like, if they would sign an immigrant, they could come over here. Like, could. make that into a law? Yeah. Yeah, they can make that into a law. For That quick? I mean, it wouldn't be quick, but, like. Well, if we're this no, this, this is just, these are just your personal liberties. These yeah. are just the rights you have. You have the right to be, you have the right to pursuit of happiness. We can put for that we are allowed to use our rights and just it's just personal your individual liberty, your personal liberty. It's rights that can't be taken away from you if you're born in the United States. Like you have the right to follow any religion you want. And that's it. Well that's it. Yeah, for that. And then I think the last thing and then I think yeah, and I think that's it. So now I want y'all just to take the quiz. Now you're going to request it and I'll accept it. Yeah. I need a pass this, bro. So. You're here, prove it. Mm -hmm. I proved it and then I'm just waiting on Alex. Can I take it again? Yeah. Gosh. Which amendment protects our right to be here? Oh, so before that, hold on, let me show y'all something. Oh, can you close my, my door, Zeta? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. oh, hold on. So let me show you one last thing. Let me just show you, I forgot to show you the Bill of Rights, so... Let me show you the Bill of Rights. All right, there's 10, bill, there's 10 amendments. First amendment is you have the freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, that means you can say, kind of, you can say what you want. You won't get Wait, it. what was it? First amendment is freedom of speech, freedom of religion. I'll keep these up there so you don't have to write these down. It's a lot. It. And I gave you all the books, they're in the book. Oh, you have to see it to the police if you want. Yeah, so you have the freedom of the press, freedom of petition, and freedom of assembly. So the guys, this is everyday life. You have the right to petition. Guys, if I had students, all right, who would like their cell phones here? Me. Who would want to bring their cell phones there? We had a student here create a petition to the principal and petition to bring our cell phones. He actually said we would want our cell phones because of yeah. this, an emergency field trips on this day only. He picked like on, I think like on the last day of school or like the last week of school. And he said, because I made friends, you know, I want to get the numbers. And he actually made a petition, and it almost worked, except some students took advantage of it. And, and, and he actually, like, he came dressed up in a, in a tie and a suit, and he actually, like, petitioned, and he spoke to the principal. Wow. Yeah, and he like actually... On the phone? No, in person, and he actually had every, that. You have the right to petition. That, that's your right, guys. If you do that, um... You're not going to get in trouble. You just... But you have to be serious about it. All right, this is everyday life. You can do this yourself when you're older, like or even now. Comments. People do petitions all the time. Like we petition, uh, people petition Chick Fil A sometimes on Sundays because they, they want it. Huh? They do one for the Sarkas. Yeah. Oh, um, exactly. That's true. Wait. Do you... It's in your book. I promise you. Second Amendment: You have the right to bear arms, not to actually have arms, bear arms, but you have the right to have your own weapons. Wait. What is the second? Yeah, the same. Oh, right, yeah, you, can, you can get a license to have your own weapon? Yeah, you have the right to carry an arm, a firearm. Wait, what's your name, sir? Which hmm? amendment is the Bill of Rights promise? Hold on, yeah. hold on. I can't find this. Third Amendment, no quartering soldiers. You don't have to quarter soldiers. That means you, you don't have to house a soldier. And if you want to look where these are at, guys, these are actually in your book. This. I'll tell you what page, so you don't get, uh, 38. So you don't get lost. Hmm? 38. Uh, these are actually, 
on page, they start on page 27 of your book. Ready? Yes. Fourth Amendment. This is probably one of the most important ones for y'all guys. You, no illegal search or seizure. You, they have to have a warrant to search you. Oh yeah, like on like a criminalized. Or yeah. So so let me ask you this. Let me ask you a question. If if you're walking down the street and a cop goes up to you and says, "I need to see your cell phone," do you, are you gonna show him your cell phone? No. Why? Because you don't. You, you don't, don't have, have the right, right to drive right. yourself your property. And he's helping me. Well, how do you know that? Like, where is that law? And what are you gonna say? Fourth Amendment. Yeah, it's my Fourth Amendment right. You, this is for you to protect yourself. I can't find this. Because it's looking bad, huh? Aiden, we'll answer, we'll answer the question. All right. The fifth one is also very important. Right to due process of law. All right. What this means is you can't get yourself in trouble. You can't? So let's say, uh, let's say Zeta's in court. And I asked Zeta, Zeta, were you here on the night of December 10th, 2020? when this robbery happened, Zeta can say, I plead the fifth. That means you don't have to say anything. Oh, that's why they say that. Yeah, they say, oh, I plead the fifth. The reason they say that is because you don't want to you don't want to get yourself in trouble. Your Did lawyer, you say that? Do you two get in trouble if they find uh, out? I mean, it just depends. It's, it depends on the situation and the evidence. But this is a way for you to protect yourself. Because what if you don't know the law? What if your lawyer's not there? What if no one's there to help you? Like, no one's help, there to, like, tell you anything? And they... And let's say you really didn't do anything, but you don't want to get in trouble, or let's say you don't want to get someone else in trouble, right? You plead the fifth. I mean, I want y'all to be honest, but this is a way for you to protect yourself, all right? I need to keep that in my pocket. That's like a desperate song. That's what I'm saying. Like, this book can one day save your life. Yeah. Sixth Amendment, uh, this, is, this is rights for a person accused in a crime. Everyone has the right to a speedy trial. That's all you mean. Everyone has a right to a fast and speedy trial and public trial. This means is if Alice is in, in jail, I can't be like, all right, Alice, uh, you're going to be in jail and your court date is in uh, February 18th, 2030. Oh. Is that fair? No. No, I can't make her wait nine years for her to go to freaking court and her to spend nine years in jail. What was four? No. I don't know. I don't know. But you cannot do that. All right, so you have the right to a speedy trial. Can I keep this? Uh, not right now. All right, uh, Seventh Amendment, right of a jury in a civil case. This deals with civil cases. You have the right to face your, your you have the right to a jury. That means people will actually get to vote and determine if you're guilty or not in a civil oh. case. Remember who the people are like, all right, we all decided to vote guilty or not guilty, right? It has to be unanimous. Everyone has to be unanimous. It has to be and all guilty or no guilty. If the judge, like right now, if you see a judge right now, you can just, if he just, you do, he just send it well, to Well, even, he, all right, when you get a ticket, guys, you'll see this in real life. Don't give me an option for a jury. All right, Eighth Amendment, no cruel or unusual punishment. Excessive bail. If uh, if one of y'all steals a bike, like a, a bike, I can't put your bail. Do you know what bail is? What you have to pay to get out of jail? Oh yeah, a, like a bail bond. You yeah, a bail bond. let's say you sell a bicycle, a mongoose bicycle. I can't be like, all right, your bail is gonna be one million dollars. For that? Is that excessive? No. Yes, that's too much. It is. And of course, no cruel and unusual. I mean, back then they used to like wrap ropes around your legs and pull them until your limbs came apart. Or would it be like hit you until like you said something? Yeah, and like it was, they would, sometimes they would beat you, sometimes they would. They used to do that sometimes. No, they don't. <laughs> Not in a civil or criminal court of law. In Mexico, they do that. That's, we're talking about, <laughs> we're talking about Texas and the United yeah, that's States. Different. All right, uh, amendment. Uh, pretty much any rights not listed in the Constitution, and you don't have to write this one down, we'll, we'll go, we'll, I'll, I'll give you a shorter version, but any rights that aren't in the Constitution, you still have your basic human rights. Because not everything is listed in the Constitution. You know, there's new laws that are happening right now. All right? Like, let's say this. Can I, does anyone have a pet at home? Yes. No. Can I go home and kick your dog? No. Yes. No, right. That, will you get mad at me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
can you call the police on me? That's yes. your right. I cannot. I, I will. Hold on. I cannot, you know, do anything to hurt you or your family. It's, is that listed in the Constitution? No. If you have in the to cons- hold on. In the Constitution, does it say you can kill people? If you no. have the right hold to. Hold on. Hold on, dude. You're getting out of hand. If you don't, this, this is what gives you that right. Any, any right that's listed in the Constitution is given to you. And finally, the Last Amendment is just powers not in the Constitution are reserved to the states or the people. What if they make it like a law or something? You're, good, you're thinking way too much about this, and it scares me. Why? All right, guys. So, so all you're going to do is just finish your, your assessment quiz. All right? Okay. Do it for us. All right, so we went over the Bill of Rights. We went over the Texas Constitution, the principles of the Constitution, and the government as itself. And I have your quizzes, and everyone passed. So we'll go over it again later, since we're running out of time. Uh, so just important, what's one important thing you learned from today's lesson? Alice. That everybody has equal rights. rights. Everyone has the what? Go ahead. Everybody has equal rights. Equal right. rights, right? And can you name one amendment that gives you um, that equal right? Uh, no, um, mm-hmm. uncruelty or punishment. No, nope, uncruel punishment, yes. yes. You have the right to use your Constitution book when you get pulled over by, by, by police. Yes, that is true. Zeta? Um. Just anything that you learn. The Bill of Rights. That you can carry a firearm? The Second Amendment, good. All right, that's it for today. Wait, and then, I got a question for you. Yes. Okay, one. When you're carrying a gun, do you have permission or you have to go to with the judge to get it off? No, you have to take a test. You can carry a firearm, but you have to have a, a license, right? You have to have a license to drive, right? Yeah.